ஆக்ஷேபக கன்வர்ஜன்ஸ் ஸோ இட் இஸ் நாட் அ வியாதி பட் இட் ஈஸ் அசோசியேட்டட் ஆஸ் அ சிம்டம் இன் மெனி டிசீசஸ் சச் ஆஸ் அபஸ்மார யோஷ அபஸ்மார மஸ்திஷ்க அர்புத ஷிரோ அபிகாத மஸ்திஷ்க ஆவரண ஷோத மூத்திர விஷமயத தனுஸ்தம்ப அண்ட் உதர கிருமே இன் சில்ட்ரன்ஸ் it is associated with a repeated or episodic attacks of convulsions nirutyo faakshepaka mohun mohurscha aakshepanat aakshepaka iti smrutah so the disease which is associated with episodic or repeated attacks of convulsions is called as aakshepaka types of aakshepaka according to shushruta danda aakshepaka antarayama bahirayama and according to madhava nidana there are mainly four types danda akshepaka antarayama bahirayama abighat sampraapti of akshepaka is mainly yada tu damani sarvaha kupito abhyati marudaha here the kupita vata which spreads all over the body that is sarva sharira by dhamanis then does ஆக்ஷிப்தியாஷு மீன்ஸ் தென் டர்ஸ் தி ஆக்ஷேபனா வித் முகுர் முகுர் தேகம் முகுஷ்சஹ முகுஷ்சரஹ மீன்ஸ் ஹியர் தேட் ஸோ தெர் இஸ் அ ரிப்பீட்டட் கேப் பிட்வீன் த டூ கன்வர்ஜன்ஸ் ஹியர் முகுர் ஆக்ஷேபனா அக்கர்ஸ் ஃபார் சம் டியூரேஷன் ஆஃப் த டைம் அண்ட் ஆஃப்டர் வேர்ட்ஸ் த பேஷண்ட் இஸ் ஹேவிங் அ ரிலீஃப் ஃபேஸ் தட் இஸ் காட் ஆஸ் முகுஷ்சரஹ ஸோ தட் இஸ் முகுர் 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 முகுஷ்ச ஆக்ஷேபனாத் ஆக்ஷேபக இது ஸ்மிருத ஸோ this repeated or episodic attacks of convulsions due to imbalancement of vata is considered as aakshepaka so let's see about the types of aakshepaka in detail first one is danda aakshepaka the definition of danda aakshepaka is pani pada sidaha krushta shroni hi stambanati marutah dandatva stapta gatrasya தண்டக ச அனுபக்கிரம ஸோ இட் டஸ் தி பாணி பாத சித பிருஷ்டிரோணி ஸ்தம்பனாதி மாறுத ஸோ த பிரகுபித வாத டஸ் த ஸ்தம்பன ஆஃப் பாணி பாத சித பிருஷ்ட பாணி ஹியர் இஸ் வி கேன் கன்சிடர் ஹஸ்த ஆர் அப்பர் லிம் பாத ஆஸ் அ லோவர் லிம் சிர ஹெட் பிருஷ்ட இஸ் பேக் Shroni here is at the pelvic bone. It does stiffness around this area. So, because of that, the body of the person will be like. So, Dandatvam, Stabdagatratvam. The stiffness of the body, uh, the stiffness of the body of the person is like. He is lying down at the bed. Stiff like that of the stick. That is called as Dandaka. So, there are mainly two postures which are mainly manifested in the body. a brain injury and these are the signs of the brain injury so first one is mainly in case of tanda akshepaka there are different types of body positioning or posturing is seen so these are the signs of manifestation of a brain injury there are mainly two types the first one is decorticate posturing second one is decerebrate posturing so in case of decorticate posturing so it is associated stiffness of the body and the bent arms are there clenched the fist and legs are held out straight and arms are towards the body and wrist are at the chest so the flexion of arms is seen and they are towards the body and clenched the fist is at the level of chest next one is decerebrate posturing in that we are going to have that arms and legs are being held straight out and toes are being pointed uh, pointed downwards and the neck and head are being arched backwards so decorticate posturing is a sign of severe brain damage and decerebrate posturing is the sign of injury or damage to the brain stem second one is the antarayama so the meaning of or the definition of antarayama is mainly manne samshritya vato antaryadya nadihi prapadyate 
ஏரியா So the Prakupita Vata, so it, the word itself says that Vato Antaryada Nadihi. The Prakupita Vata, it is going to affect the Nadi. Nadi means the channels which are present in the Manya. Manya here is mainly the sternocleidomastoid area. That's why it is called as Manya Stamam Tada Koryat Antarayama Sangeetam. So, so it is that's why it is called as manyastamba and also it is called as antarayama so what are the lakshanas of antarayama is mainly antarayama te griva manya jastambhe vrusham dantanam dashanam lala prishtayamaha shiro grahaha drumba vadana sangascha apya antarayama lakshanam yutyukta yutyuktastvam antarayamo So, Lakshanas are mainly Antarayamite, Antarayamite, Griva, Manyacha, Stambyate, Brusham. Here, it does the stiffness of neck as well as the sternomastoid area and Dantanam, Dashanam. So, the clenching of the teeth is present. Lala, that is salivation. Prushtayamaha. Here, the inward bending of the back is present. Shirograha stiffness of head, Drumba Yavni, the Vadana Sangascha means here Lockjaw, so Appya Antarayama Lakshanam. So these are the Lakshanas of, and these are the Lakshanas of Antarayama, and this is the feature of Emprostotonus position. Third one is the Bahirayama. So Charaka mentioned it as a Bahirayama, mainly. Uh, the, the definition of Bahirayama, Bahirayama Uchate, Prusta Manya Shrita, Bahya, Shoshaitva Siravalihi, Vayuhu Kuryat, Danustambam, Bahirayama Sannekam. So, Prusta Manya Shrita, Bahya, Shoshaitva Siravalihi. So, the vessels which are present at the back, side of the manya that is prusta manya manya here is sternomastoid area the bahya here is external vessels the external vessels which are present at the back side of the um, uh, sternomastoid area and carotid region so there is a dryness is present shoshaitva sirabalihi means that because of the prakopita vayu there is the dryness of these vessels which are present at the backside and at the carotid region. So, that is called as Kurya Dhanustambam Bahirayama Sanyakam. That is called as Dhanustamba or also called as Bahirayama. Next, uh, so the Charaka has given the name called as Bahirayama for the Dhanustamba. So, it is associated with the Ophistotonus position. So, what are the Lakshanas of this? Let's see one by one. So, च अपवन नाम्यमानस्य पृष्ठतो नियते सिरह उरह उक्षिप्तिते मन्या स्तप्त ग्रीवा अवम्रुध्यते दन्तानम् दशनम् जुम्बा लाला स्रावश्च वाक्रहह जातवेगो निहत्तेशु वैकल्यम् वा प्रयश्चती च अपवन नाम्यमानस्य means here that means here that the body of the patient is bent downwards like a bow and prushtato niyate siraha prushtato niyate siraha here means that head goes to the back uraha ukshipyate chest gets thrown upwards okay manya stabdaha there is a stiffness around the neck region or stiffness uh, here mainly manya stambaha we can consider the stiffness around the carotid region or sternocleidomastoid sternocleidomastoid area so next one is griva avamruddhyate the neck is bent downwards dantanam dashanam 
there is a clenching of the teeth or biting of the teeth jrumba yavning lala sravaha makes you salivation and vakraha loss of speech jata vego nihatteshu nihatesha vaikalyam va prayashchati so when it comes with a force it kills the patient or produces restlessness jata vego here is that forceful vega or forceful forceful attack we can say nihatteshu it kills the person vaikalyam va prayashchati either it produces restlessness to the patient or it produces or it kills the patient or it so this uh, uh, this akshaypaka is considered to be the a chikitsa let's see why swastah syat ardita dina muhur vege gate agate pidyate pidanai stair pidanai stair bishagetan vivarjayet because here the syat ardita dina means here we have we have to consider here the ardita antarayama bahyayama and akshepaka as well as dandaka so in these cases it is considered to be a sadhya or a chikitsya because the doctor should not treat the patient who is suffering with these kind of diseases because the person is in swasthya avastha when the vegas are not present when the vegas manifest at the time of vega the person is going to have the severe pain that is called as that's that's why it is considered as a chikitsya as it is considered to be the asatya or chikitsya so we are going to do the symptomatic management to the patient first one is the sanya sthapanam so at the time of the vegas at the time of the at the time of vega vega avastha during vega avastha we have to give the sanya sthapana dravyas it may be in the form of pradhamananasya or it may be in the form of avabhedananasya pradhamananasya is mainly you have to give the maricha shigru bija vedanga etc etc can be given and in case of avabhedananasya we are giving sauvarchala uh, lavana or hingu shunti dadima or amla vetasa can be given and second one is the mrudu shodhana in case of mrudu shodhana artha so our shodhana does the vayu prakopa so we are going to do the mrudu shodhana so that the vata prakopa should not happen so it should be properly followed by doing snehana svedana and re respective procedures can be followed okay it is same as that of the samanya vata vadi chikitsa shamana so in case of shamana chikitsa you have to go for the achapeya sneha pana that is mainly that is mainly uh, added with the bhadra darvyadi sneham it should be given during the vegantara avastha not at the vega avastha it should be given during during vegantara avastha and also brahat vata chintamani rasa is given vata kulantaka rasa is given and in case of if the seizures are happening in the children's then we have to go for kumara kalyanaka kumara kalyanaka krutha and medya rasayanas is also given ಎಸ್ಟಿ ಮಧು ಪಂಚಗವ್ಯ ಕೃತ ಸಾರಸ್ವತ ಅರಿಷ್ಟ ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್